surfacing the title track on my record surfacing which if you're at this point i hope you know uh, why you're here <laughs> but if you don't i released a record called surfacing november 1st january 2019 and this is the title track this title track for me is the other part of the nucleus around which the rest of the songs revolve and this is why. So if we go back to uh, the middle of the night's track by track, which I will link here, uh, I talk a lot about what the impetus for that song was, the depressive, anxious sort of loneliness and fear that kind of brought that on that one night on that bathroom floor. And surfacing was brought on a couple days later, or at least the idea for it. Let me explain. Basically, I'm saying that I just felt more hopeful. There wasn't a discrete or direct reason for this, but essentially everything just felt lighter. You know what I mean? The weight for some reason seemed more manageable. Like maybe I had gotten stronger and like I was able to carry more or something like that. But either way, it truly felt like I was coming up for air. It truly felt like I was surfacing. And again, nothing drastically had changed. No one had come back from the vacations that they were on as I addressed in the middle of the night video. But for some reason, nothing but me had made me begin to feel better. And I thought that that was really, really important. Like I thought that was a moment to memorialize. It was honestly sort of disorienting because I remember how intense it was at the time when I was just sitting on that floor trying to figure things out and really feeling overwhelmed and then basically just sort of fast forwarding to the moment um, where I just sat up in my bed, literally, I think it was Jul uh, January 3rd, where I just sat up in my bed and I was like, I think I can do this now. Like, I think I am seeing the way out you know i'm starting to see the light at the end of the tunnel in a sense like i don't know if that was me maybe repressing things or if i truly was surfacing or if maybe i was disassociating or something um but it was real and it happened so i felt like i wanted to commemorate it with a song Honestly, I've spent most of my life anxious or regretting or self-isolating, um, hoping that I wouldn't make the wrong call or maybe like walking on eggshells or whatever. And then when you finally feel that moment of release, it simultaneously feels wrong slash strange, but it also feels totally right and totally wholesome, you know, as if this is the way it was supposed to be the whole time. And I, and I know I was, I was so lucky in the moment to recognize it as the latter. Um, and to go out of my way to accept it within myself in that moment. And that really felt like a feeling or a moment, like I said, that was important to memorialize and share. And so I wanted to make that the focal point of the record, which is why I named it Surfacing. This one's meant to be like a thesis statement. Like I want you over the course of this record to feel like you're surfacing, to, to go through all the trials and tribulations that brought me uh, to this journey and wanted me to bring you through this journey as well so that you could be relieved of that of relieved of that burden once you get to surfacing it it seems so much like a, a ta the task of sisyphus at sometimes sometimes where it just seems like it'll never get better and it never is going to work out and you're just doomed to eternity to roll this rock up the hill but then you have a moment of surfacing where you truly do. And I wanted to focus our attention there. I wanted us to remember like, you can do that. Like you felt that feeling before. And I want you to memorialize that feeling and feel what it's like to have the act of surfacing. So that's what I think is the most important thing on this record. So yes, that is surfacing. I really appreciate you listening. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I love y'all, my family. Be safe. Uh, do the right thing and uh, hopefully I will see you in the next one.